What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Spiritual Boss Lady, coming back at you with another reading for Libra for the month of September from the 1st to the 7th. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you're already a part of the Boss Lady family, I love you, I love you, I love you. You guys, this is a general reading, a general reading, which means it will not resonate with everyone. If it does not resonate with you, it's probably not for you, okay? Okay, so let's jump right on in for Libra. For the month of September, from the 1st to the 7th. All right, Libra. First card up you have is Seven of Pentacles. All right. For Libra. All right. Libra, you have <clears throat> Temperance card. Show me what I need to see. Please show me what I need to see. Libra. All right, Libra, you have Six of Swords. came out. For Libra. All right, Libra, you have the Three of Swords. Guys, if I pause sometimes with the cards, it's only because a lot of times I'm breaking out a new deck. This is a new deck. This is the Essential Tarot deck. Um, so I a lot of times be pausing to get the energy of the card. Okay. cards pop out and it was the queen of pentacles and the five of pentacles okay libra so let's jump right on in <clears throat> first card up you had is the seven of pentacles if i can get it okay guys and the seven of pentacles speaks to perseverance it speaks to looking at your investment it speaks to looking at um Something you put a lot of hard work and effort into, okay? Um, it speaks to perseverance, um, the energy of putting into something, okay? Putting your hard work and in investments. Um, and the next card you up you have is the temperance card. And the temperance card speaks to being patient. Um, it also speaks to a need for balance, harmony, okay? It also tells you to avoid extreme... Uh, situations, confrontations, conflicts, avoid those things. Remain calm. And it also speaks to moderation, the temperance card. <clears throat> and the next card you got up is the Six of Swords. And if you look at that card, guys, the Six of Swords speaks to releasing something. Okay? It speaks to releasing something toxic for me, in my opinion. It speaks to a transition. Okay? Turning away from something Okay, and moving away, moving forward. Perhaps turning away from this third party situation because this is the Three of Swords. Okay, the Three of Swords is all about cheating, heartbreak, pain, sorrow, grief. But it also could be heartbreak and sorrow and grief over perhaps someone that has passed on. Okay, but more than likely it's a third party situation, when it, meaning a cheating situation. <clears throat> and then you have the Nine of Swords. 
And the Nine of Swords speak to um, being up in your head, being plagued by fear, guilt, doubt, worries. Um, the Nine of Swords speak to dealing with a lot of difficult situations, okay? Um, being up at night, um, restlessness, not being able to sleep, and things of that nature. And then you have the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups speaks to someone coming in to you or your partner, okay, to apologize, to make a, man, a romantic gesture of love, okay. The Knight of Cups speaks to um, perhaps someone coming in and saying sorry about this third party, okay. And then you had the Queen of Pentacles, okay. Perhaps about saying sorry about a wife, too, because uh, the Queen of Pentacles is someone you can have joint resources with. <clears throat> the Queen of Pentacles can be a mother, the mother of your child, okay? But she believes in marriage. The Queen of Pentacles is a stable, rooted, grounded person, okay? And the next card up that you had was the Five of Pentacles. And the Five of Pentacles speaks to financial loss and poverty, okay? The stress. It speaks to being feeling left out in the cold. Okay. The Five of Pentacles speaks to isolation. Okay. So Libra, when I see all these cards together, Libra, Libra, my Libras. <sighs> I really don't too particularly care for these kinds of readings, to be quite honest. When I look at these cards together, I feel like you're trying to move away from someone okay you're trying to have patience and maybe even counting your money or trying to see if you can get some money maybe moving away from um a cheating spouse maybe you found out that someone was married perhaps now this person is feeling left out in the cold because you found out okay the energies that i have on the board is taurus virgo capricorn sagittarius gemini libra aquarius okay um scorpio pisces cancer okay but you have a lot of sword energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? And that is a masculine energy, a cutting out energy, okay? So when I look at all of these cards together, I really believe, Libra, that it's a possibility that you're cutting someone out, okay? You are, unfortunately, you are in your head about it, okay? Because you're dealing with a lot of toxic situations. Maybe it's, it's difficult for you to find out that this person that you invested in was perhaps married or in another um, relationship. You're trying to move away from it. You're trying to have patience. You're looking into your investments and seeing how much money that you have. Or it's possibly you're looking into the, how much time that you invested in this person. Okay? Now that you know about possibly this person okay you feel out left out in the cold maybe even that person feels left out in the cold but they're coming in to an apologize they're coming back to apologize and if they're coming back to apologize for having a wife i don't think that apology is worth listening to if in fact uh they lied to you and never told you libra <clears throat> But I definitely see that you're having patience, okay? You're trying to have, um, you're trying to get to balance. Spirit is urging you to stay calm, to not go into extreme situations, to not get um, rowdy and yell and scream, okay? I don't know, guys. This seems as if, as I said, a very sorrowful situation. I feel when I when I look at all these cards together, guys, I feel like um okay, I'm telling my age with this song, but it's a song that says, I'll be the other woman of your life, just as long as I'm the only one other than your wife. That is the song I'm getting in my head, okay, guys. So I'm like, okay, did you know you was in the third party? Did, is it possible that they found out about you guys? 
And now that person said, well, hey, you know, my wife knows, so I have to let you go. Maybe you thought you were more important to them than you actually were. Maybe the person that was cheating is feeling played down. Um, because a lot of times uh, the energy of our partner can come up in our reading. But that is what I have for you, Libra. So you have to let me know, okay, guys? Please like, share, and subscribe. Love and light, you guys, and have a blessed and beautiful day.